upon it and bringeth forth herbs meat for them by whom it is dressed receiveth blessings from the Most High. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected. And this verse again? The eighth verse. Go ahead. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. But beloved... That's all you guys that fell off. Yep. You're going to get cursed out and then you're going to get burned. Yep. Go yep. ahead. But beloved... You're not going to escape the message. Oh, hell. And the most I didn't put no spurt on you to hop on the plane, get a passport, hop on the plane and go to some other country because the most I took that out of your mind, the part that America of Babylon is going to be destroyed. Because you don't believe that this is Babylon. You don't believe in the most I. You, you are atheists. You don't believe in your house, Shai. And if you do believe in the Lord, you believe you went back to believing that he's a white man. Yeah. And like Jada Bedusa did, he went back to believing that Jada, that, that the Lord is a white man. Absolutely. He went back to uh, Serapis Christus. He ran right back to uh, Serapis. That's it. Jesus Christos. That's it. Which is the God of the Edomites. The Pastor Todd did a video where he, where he spoke about Quaz. Quaz was one of the gods of the Edomites. But then you had another god too, uh, Jesus Christos, which Ptolemy the first came up with that nonsense. You had a lot of Israelites worshiping that in Egypt because you had a large Israelite community in Alexandria, Egypt. So you got to know the history, man. We've been telling you guys that time and time. You got to know that history. Go ahead, brother. Verse 9. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation. And that's, what, whoa, <coughs> that's what we speak. We yeah. speak things that accompany salvation. Yeah, Mecca, a fire is coming, man. What accompanies mm -hmm. salvation? Well, knowing that America is going to be destroyed, knowing this yeah. place is going to be destroyed, knowing that the so-called white man is going to be Which judged. The, the ones that fell off, they don't, they don't know that. Oh, they don't, yeah. they don't, the yeah, they don't know it. They don't believe it. No. The Most High took it from them, man. Yeah, yeah, he took it from them. Yeah, they yeah. don't call themselves by the Hebrew name. Yeah, yeah. You know, you call, you see a guy that fell out 20 years ago, and you call him by his Hebrew name. He ain't gonna answer to you because that went out of his mind too. He might. Oh, you know? Yeah. All that knowledge that he had went out went out uh, uh Matthew 13 and 12, I believe. I think it was Job that said the Lord giveth and he taketh away. Something like that. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So the Lord gave those individuals the knowledge, then they took it from them. That's why you know Apostle Elder Dahl always brought that out. Uh in the book of Psalms, the 51st chapter, that's why King David said, Take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. That's what King David said. Uh, Matthew 13 and 12. For whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. The little knowledge that he had, a few scriptures that he knew, the most I took that away from him. So they don't believe, you ask a guy that fell off 20 years ago or more uh, about Babylon the Great being destroyed. They don't believe that. Well, one brother you said, a uh, Gabar, you said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not into that. I'm not oh yeah, 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 yeah. A couple of people said that. I, I, yeah. I don't deal with that. I don't deal with that. Oh, what's the brother that used to be in uh, Yashawan camp? I came to the 34th Street camp when we first got on YouTube. Oh yeah, I forgot his name. Ricard yeah. knows him. Yeah. And he came up talking, and then we were talking about Israel. He said, "I'm not into that stuff. I'm not into that stuff." But then you know what happened? A couple of weeks later, he, he made a YouTube page cursing us out, and he tried to get back into Israel. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So he was hot for a quick minute. And that's what pretty much gave us our, our fame and spawners in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, the, the first people that saw us on YouTube were them guys that fell off and tried to get back in. And they put, yeah. then he turned into stalkers, and then he went right back into the world. And yeah, the Lord took the knowledge from them, and then at the same time turned them into reprobates. And the word reprobate means void of, void of judgment, understanding. Judgment, yeah, void of understanding. Judgment. Yeah. You got it, bro? Yep. Though that's what the scripture, that's what it says. It says that they become reprobates, meaning they don't believe in the most high, they're atheists. It's like, they're like black white men, you know, right. black Edomites. They don't believe in the most high, they don't believe in your house side, or at least they don't believe that the Lord is a so-called black man. They don't believe that America is Babylon. They don't believe in the 12 tribes. They don't believe that they're Israelites. 
and a lot of them even, they go in. Some of these guys recently have fell off from Israel and, and, and they, they're down with the so-called Black Conscious Movement. So you know the most High messed their minds up. Yeah, their mind and conscience is defiled, like scripture says. Yeah. So the only thing left for them is, is destruction. Yeah. When, the, when the chariots come and the missiles come, if the, if the missiles don't get them, the chariots will. <laughs> hey, because the scriptures say... Well, the chariots can get them and the missiles can get them too. Yeah, the chariots and the missiles. Because Yahweh Shai said that the slain... Well, the scriptures say, the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the angels are going to be killing a lot of you Israelites yeah. in them chariots, man. That's why they, they, yeah. Esau brought out the movie War of the World. In the, in the movie War of the World, you saw the so-called UFOs shooting laser beams at people. People were running down the street. And a, and a laser beam would hit them, and they'd turn into salt. They'd turn into dust. Well, that's actually going to happen. Them angels are going to be in them chariots, and you, a lot of you jakes are going to be running. You wicked jakes, you're going to be running, the angels are going to be right on your ass. And turn you right into dust. They'll bring you, bring you down to your basic element. Oh, to yeah. Dust. Oh, yeah. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, nigga. And then, and then I basically, think was, and yeah. basically they're gonna turn you into Lot's wife, but then they're gonna blow that pillar of salt away too. Yeah. You know what happened to Lot's wife? Them, the, the, that radiation, uh, uh, the height, completely dehydrated. Dehydrated. Wow. What is what what is left of you when you completely dehydrated? Yeah. Dust. Salt. Yeah, salt. Yeah, dust. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's salt. Dust in the wind. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dust All in the wind. All we are is dust, dust in the wind. Yeah. That's they a, might be checked. Yeah, Kansas. That's that. That's, 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 Kansas. Yeah, yeah. that's a bad song. Well, the, the lead singer, he looked like a gadda. Yeah, he looked. Yeah, There's yeah, a video like of a, them singing that song. Yeah, he looked yeah. like a gadda. Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, you, you remember the thought of Megan Moore when uh, the pole was like uh, fire was hitting, hitting that place and stuff? Like that one was like a nuclear explosion. Yeah, but the yeah, most yeah. I brought the uh, He split the air atoms up in, in space. Absolutely. He created the missiles without the missiles. Yeah. He can make the missiles without. He's the he's the missile maker on that. <laughs> well, well, that proves that proves that the missiles that we saw have today that proves the heavenly Father created them. Yeah, and that, and that's what and gave them the technology. Yeah, Isaiah 54 and 16. He have created the waste to, to destroy. Yeah, sure. You know. So everything we're saying is, is according to the Holy Spirit, and in time, everything that we say it'll be it'll be seen, man. You know, people are scoffing right now. Mainly because of the way we sound and look. Oh, these can't be the men of the Lord. Look, they, look at the way they talk. Listen right. to the way they talk. They use the F word. Oh, well, good, good. Right, good. That's the stumbling yeah. block, baby. Yep. Yeah. That's the stumbling block. Yeah, you're going to find out, man. And then you're going to be shocked. And then you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you got to have fun with it, man. You know? Like you said, you said that in the video. You, you got to Andrew going to come along and say, Are you shocked, Mr. Unbeliever? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. You got it. Hebrews 6 and 9. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation. Though we though we thus speak, for the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. There you go, we said that earlier. So you brothers that go out on the streets hard and heavy, always remember, remember that, man. Scripture say the Lord is not unrighteous to forget our labor that we're shown to this work. Go ahead, bro. Which ye have shown toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. That's exactly what we're doing now. We're ministering to the saints. Go ahead. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance that's of... That's why I get on guys that, that, that slack. You know slacking. me, I get on you in a minute if you're slacking, man. Absolutely. Because we're supposed to be on the same level of diligence. Yeah. Go ahead. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Oh, why do you show the same diligence to the what? To the a full assurance of hope until the end. That's why you show full diligence. Yeah. The same diligence. Of hope. To make sure you on the most high good side. Right. Right. Well, Basically, this is about kissing the most high's ass. I'm just thinking of Psalm 2 and 12. You know, I wish I said kiss. Well, the scripture said kiss the sun. This kiss is how sun. Well, kiss. in this vernacular, in this day and age, yeah. I mean, kiss somebody's ass. I mean, yeah. right. you, you become a fool for them, you know? Yeah. 
and, and this is how we kiss the sun. We, we're doing things which this people of the world consider this to be stupid. Look at these guys on the street. But we're kissing the sun, man. It's, it's that same sun that's coming back to bring judgment and destruction and also salvation. So if you were wise, you'd kiss the sun too. Yeah. Verse 12, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. You know what that means? If you don't know what to do, follow somebody that's doing it the right way. Right. Mark the perfect men. Right. And you have many perfect men out there, man. Yeah, Psalm 37 to 37, it says, Mark the perfect man, and behold the righteous. For their end is, uh, uh, ju their end is, uh, end is peace. End is peace. Come, come. Psalm 37, 37. Go ahead. Read Verse 13. For when the Mosai made promise to Abraham, because, because he could swear by no greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely blessing I will bless thee, and multiplying I will multiply thee. And so after he had patiently endured, I'm sorry, and so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For, for men barely swear by the greater, and an oath for confirmation is to them an end of all strife, wherein the Most High willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability, Im immutability, like yeah, immutability of his counsel. Yeah, that, that means uh, it does not change. In, when you look up that word immu immutability, not move. it right. doesn't move, it doesn't change. Mu that's where you get the word mutate from. Right. Mutate means to change. Right. That's it on that. Go to Hebrews 10, verse 28 and 29. You might go to the verse 30. Immutability, that's a big word. And he the heavenly father, compound word. Right. Yeah, right. the Heavenly Father don't change. What is that? Malachi 3 and 6. The Lord said, For I am the Lord and I change not. Therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So now so now all of a sudden the Lord is going to accept every nation when his Israelites have always been his people. Come on. He goes against his own word. Yeah. Go ahead. You want 28? 1028. Yeah, 20, yeah, 10, 28 and 29. Okay. Hebrews 1028. He he that despised Moses' law died with without mercy on the two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment suppose ye shall he shall he be thought worthy who hath trodden underfoot the son of the most high and have counted the blood of the of the covenant uh, wherewith he was uh, sanctified an unholy thing and have done despite unto the spirit of grace. Well, that's an all, as you read down, you're going to get the, a better understanding. These are all these guys that turn their back on the most high. Yeah. yeah. On the how about you now, so. so this is what they're going to get. Go ahead, read on. For we, for we know him that have said, vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Give me uh, 2 Peter 2, verse 20. Right. And if you want, you can read a couple of verses above that. If you like. Just the book of uh, 2 Peter, chapter 2, verse 17. These are wells without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. But when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness, those uh, that were clean escape from them who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome of the same as he brought into bondage. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, they are again entangled therein, 
and overcome. Come back into the world. Back in the world. The, Go latter, ahead. the latter end is worse for them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. As I may say, that's why Yahweh <laughs> said, He that knoweth shall be beaten with many stripes. He that didn't know shall be beat, beaten with few stripes. But he that knew shall be beaten with many stripes. God, it says, but it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. And what's that vomit? Whether you were Baptist, yeah. Muslim, whatever you was into. Trump of this world. Just being a nigga, grimy nigga, you went right back to it, man. Yeah. Oh, you know what back Elder Apostle Tarp on that, uh, what is that, Isaiah 29. For all tables are, are filled with vomit, which is a metaphor for all these philosophies out here. The Lord considers that all vomit. Right? Like that shit that vocab's in, that's vomit. The Lord considers that vomit. Another gospel. Yeah. You know, if you believe that you're a Muslim, the Lord considers that vomit. Right? You believe in that black consciousness nonsense, that's vomit. But you know why they keep following that bullshit? Because the most high haven't showed judgment. I mean, yeah, exactly. When the most high showed judgment, then you're gonna question what you were in. Then you're gonna try to scramble to find out what, what is the truth. And then you're gonna come, you're gonna let me try the Hebrew Israelite. Let me call on your house. Yeah. The most high gonna hear you. Yeah, that's Hosea, yeah. Even if prayer is abomination, man. Eh? Yeah. He that turneth his head from the law, even as prayer shall be an abomination. abomination. Yeah. So even the American dream, brothers, the American dream is vomit. The Lord considers that vomit. Everything outside is truth is right. vomit. Is vomit is an abomination. Yes. Yeah. Hey, like Lahab, hey, there's one guy. I'll show you all the, uh, if I remember, I'll show you the comment. This comment, I think, was two years ago, four years ago, whatever. There's one guy, right? He put, gave me a comment saying, I started listening, listening to y'all at GMS. Y'all were deep going into scriptures. But then I went to Yohanna and I started following him. But then I realized he had demons on him. And then, and I'm thinking he's gonna finally come back to GMS, right? Uh -huh. Then I went to Nate, but Nate was a fuck out. Then I went to this group. Then I went to Lahab, and Lahab has the truth. He's the only one that can break down the scriptures, right? And he left it at that. Oh, yeah. So I said, let me click on the man's avatar. Right. The last time the dude did a video was two years ago. Look at that. So I said, well, right, I'm there not you go. Yeah. It shows I how have much. the scriptures in Ephesians speak about from 